Hey, what's up? It's me, Trogo Pro, and I want to show you what I'm using, which is OBS. Going here in my screen, I usually use OBS to record my screen with, of course, it depends on you if you want to use multiple cameras, because the good thing about OBS is you can use multiple um, camera capture. So you can see here on my input, you can add more if you want. You want to connect more uh, web camera or external cameras, you can add with multiple angles that can be done. So you can add audio inputs. For me, I'm using one input, I'm using one camera, but there was one time that I used multiple cameras for some, some production that we did here on my work. OBS is pretty much a very good streaming software, recording software. So as of now, I'm recording my screen and when I, basically, you can actually move your, the position of your camera where, where you want to position this one there, up there, down there, you can add another camera. Let me show you. I can add video capture. Um, you can name it video capture number three. Okay. And then it's going to show here. Where are you going to get that feed? It's either a virtual camera, a GoPro webcam. Actually, I used this GoPro one time. Okay. So you can plug your GoPro as another camera input for OBS. But of course, you need to install the driver. But for now, my laptop right here doesn't have any more ports. So I can only plug this web camera because I was planning to plug another web camera here, but I ran out of ports, okay? So anyways, just to show you, actually I have the built-in web camera here, but my laptop is uh, at the back here. So you cannot see anything. So you can add, let's say, let's just go ahead and okay. And we can position this one also here. So I have two cameras, for example, this is my main camera, I have another camera right here. And of course, you can make it bigger if you want, like like that, if you want to fill in, and you don't want to kinda, you know, I don't know what you wanna do. And this camera, you can position it anywhere. You can have more cameras if you want, right here, okay? But of course, I don't need this camera right here, so I'll just go ahead and remove it and that's it. If you wanna change the audio capture that you are using, you can do that one. Built-in audio input of the laptop or the audio input of the webcam. But of course, I'm using this microphone. This is the microphone I'm using, which is plugged into this Behringer audio device here. So I'll leave it as is, I'll cancel that. And of course, if you wanna uh, see this one, this, this is like the preview scene. This is the actual scene that's going to be recorded. So if you move this one, the other one's not moving because that's the setting, but you can go ahead and cut and then like this setting will go down here. And the same, I'm going to put it back because I like it up there. I'm just going to get cut, okay? And if you're going to record this one, just I'm already recording right down here. So I'm just going to minimize this one. Anything that I'm going to do here is going to be recorded. And just remember that my camera is here. So if you're trying to do something, make sure that there's nothing in here because that's going to be covered by the web uh, video, video that's going in this feed. At the same time, just to show you what are the settings that I change on my OBS studio so that I can use it is, of course, if you want to have a web camera, then just add another device. If you want to have an audio cap, uh, another audio capture, then you can go ahead and add. The other thing I change here because everything that I record on OBS Studio is being saved as MKV by default. So you need to change that one because I edit them on Premiere Pro. So I need to change it with MP4. So I go to show settings, settings, output. So you have to change this one with MP4. By default, this is MKV. And MKV is not supported by Premiere Pro if you're going to edit. So you need to convert the one. OBS is open source. It means it's free to use for anyone who want to use it. All right. So there you go, guys. Thank you for watching this video. And if you have any questions, just drop a comment below. Let me know. See ya again next time. Bye-bye.